Hi everyone. Hey guys, this is one unusual pack of Pokemon cards, but these have nothing to do with the trading card game itself. In fact, these are Japanese battle scratch cards produced by Tomy. These cards were created way back in 1997, and if I am right, they only feature the first generation of Pokemon. In other words, the first 150 creatures. Now, if I am correct, you and a friend pick one card each and you take turns scratching off the boxes to do battle. I'll explain how the game works, but first, let's open up this pack. There are five cards per pack. Let's see what I get. Alright. Now the first thing, this card gives you the instructions on how this game works, but I'll just explain it by myself, we don't need that. And let's see what I got for cards. First one, hey, the first one on the Pokedex, Bulbasaur. I think this shows his type, so K is probably grass type, that P is poisoned, and these are all of his weaknesses. It also says his name, uh, his height, weight, and I'm not sure what the category is. Next card is a War Turtle. That's also very nice. I'll bring it up close a little bit. Very cool card. Water type, weak to grass and electric. Next card is Nido Queen. Okay, poison ground type. Fourth card, a Squirtle. Nice. Got the first two evolution sets for Squirtle and War Turtle, and the last card is Radicate. All right, so amongst these cards, I think I will go with just Radicate for the uh, example for how the cards work, because on the back of each card is the battle zone, which shows all the different boxes that you can scratch off. So. Let's flip, flip, flip it around. The first thing I like to point out, this is, I can get up a little bit closer, the little boxes on the left is your HP gauge. Your HP gauge is represented in multiples of 10. If you take damage, scratch off the boxes correspond to how much damage you took. For example, if you took 20 damage, scratch off two of the boxes. I'll scratch off the, those boxes first. They're also very, very hard to do, so make sure you scratch these off firmly if you have these cards in hand. Okay. And what they show are these little pink arrows going down, and they change color from pink to red. Red showing that you are in danger of losing the game. Next one I want to show off is the level box, which is the one that's highlighted in purple. If I am right, whatever you get... Ooh, that's a big number, too. The number I got was 48. So you and your friend scratch off the level box. And if I'm right, the one with the highest level goes first. So if, I, so if my friend got something like level 41 or 30 or something like that, easily you can see that I would go first with this level 48 card. Okay, next boxes. These four little boxes in green are your attack moves. Now I'm not sure what the names are each move, but they will also but they will they will show you what like how many of these moves you have in the battle zone. So I'll scratch all four of these. So when you first play a game you scratch off the level box to see who goes first. Then you and your friends scratch off the four attack moves. As you can see it's all in Japanese so I can't decipher what the attacks are, but the numbers below them is equal to the number of attacks in the battle zone below. So the first one does one of those moves, the second move does one of those, the third move has four of them, and the last move has three. So if you add up the sum, you have nine different attacks. Those nine attacks are in the battle zone. The other three boxes would be that you probably miss, as those would do zero damage. So I'm going to take turns scratching off each box. I'll go with the seventh one. Okay, first one that I got 
was this one right here. I'm going to point to it if I get this one right here. As you can see, the Japanese characters match. There are four of these in the grid, and I just got one of them, and it does 20 damage. So if I got this first, I would do 20 damage to my opponent. Then, of course, my opponent would go next, scratch off a move in the battle zone, and do damage to me. I'm going to pick this one next. Ooh, this one does 30 damage. This move, let me get into focus, is the one directly above it. There are three of those, and I just got one of those. It does 30 damage. That's good. I'm going to go with the first one. Oh no, I missed! If, if that's what it means, because this attack is not shown in your attacks uh, bar, it does zero damage. So I assume the attack missed and you do no damage. I'm going to go for the last one on the bottom here. And I got another one of those attacks that do 20 damage. It's the same thing. I guess I'll go with this one up here next. And I got this one. There's only one of those attacks that only does 10 damage, which is kind of weak. Oh well. I'll go with this one over here. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Another miss. If I was doing right now, I would be so unlucky. Let's see? No damage. That's not good. I'll go for this one down here. Whoops. Oh, and I got another move that does 30 damage. Since I received, I have one right here and one right here of this move, that means there's one more of these moves left in the battle zone. So now you know what I mean. I'll go for this one next. I found another move that does 20 damage. And let's see, I'll go with the one up here. I'm not really just battling, if you could tell already, I'm just scratching off and revealing what's on these scratch cards. But I just found the third miss move. I'll go for the corner. Oh, and here's the other move that I found. This move does 10 damage, but as you, as you can see, there's a black star with extra Japanese kana in it. I'm going to guess that it means that you paralyze your foe and they must skip their next turn. But, of course, I'm not too sure. But it, at least it gives that move a special effect. I wish I could study more Japanese and then I would know more about that. This move does the other 20 damage, and then the last box does 30. So you're simply taking turns with your foe when you each have a card. And the first person to decrease your opponent's HP to all the way down to zero wins. It's pretty simple. You don't really have to uh, figure out what the attack names are, just follow the damage or the numbers, and you should be all set. So, of course, I went with Gratikate. I'm just going to do this one card, too. So now you know how these scratch cards work. Even though I'm not 100% sure, I know I got at least most of it right. Alright, so that's going to do it. I'm going to keep these. Maybe I'll come across some of my old friends and we'll battle it out with these. Okay, that's going to do it, guys. That are That is these Japanese battle scratch cards from... The old Tony Booster Pack made way back in 1997. That'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.